In exclusive information coming in, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has sought a report from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Principal Secretary Nupendra Mishra has asked for a report to be submitted by today. Sources within the Home Ministry say that Assam had asked for as many as 10 companies of the CRPF. The MHA has deployed only five. It may also deploy one or two additional companies. One company uh, in Golaghat has already been deployed. Remember, that is really the nerve center of the violence that we've seen over the last uh, a few hours. Overall, in all sectors, two battalions have been deployed. Special meeting of the chief ministers of the two states in question, Assam and Nagaland, will take place with the Minister of State for Home Affairs tomorrow. This meeting is likely to take place at 11 o'clock after this particular meeting, the MHA has also asked all the chief ministers uh, to make an appeal to the people to remain peaceful. Remember, uh, this directive really coming from the government at a time that they're involved in a blame game between the center and the state. Uh, the prime minister's office now seeking a detailed report from the Ministry of Home Affairs. We have Kamaljit Sandhu joining us on the phone line for more on the story. Uh, Kamaljit, the PMO certainly taking stock of the situation that is uh, slowly but surely spiraling out of control. And I do mean that not just on ground, but also as far as the uh, centre and the state governments are concerned. Well, definitely what has been a real cause of concern is the secretarian violence which has struck uh, Assam Nagaland border. And I remember there was violence till the 12th of August, but thereafter we saw there were uh, scenes of acrimonious uh, scenes uh, happening both uh, in, in that border border area of Nagala and Assam, and that is why MOS Home uh, Kiran Rijiju is being rushed to Assam, and obviously he will be holding a meeting in Guwahati with both Nagaland as well as Assam Chief Minister. Uh, they will be asked to make an appeal to the people uh, to be peaceful, and obviously one of the strategies uh, that the government has in mind is uh, to send the displaced people in camps uh, back to their homes. They believe that people from different uh, communities and different regions staying in that particular camp is only causing more harm. And obviously there are more clashes within the group which is leading to further violence. And that is why one of the strategies is uh, to have all the displaced people move back to their homes. Uh, this is roughly about 8,50,000 homes uh, which need to be constructed almost immediately. So there is uh, obviously uh, an attempt by the centre to have immediate relief given to certain people. Uh, but as far as centre is concerned, there has been a certain blame game which has been on. Uh, the Assam Chief Minister is saying that the centre has not acted in time, uh, that the CRPF was not acting. Uh, but definitely uh, Ministry of Home Affairs at this point of time standing by the CRPF uh, saying it is the state uh, police which was in the operational control. Uh, the CRPF uh, was only being handled by the state police. Right. And law and order being, uh, being a state subject, in that sense, it's, it's the Assam police which needs to take the entire charge. And they're saying uh, there were no direct shots being hit uh, at the protesters. Uh, right. they were, uh, they, there were shots which were fired in the air. So this time, uh, the, the Ministry of Home Affairs officials completely in touch with the Assam Chief Secretary, the Home Secretary, and they were obviously flying there tomorrow early in the morning. They'll be flying out around at 5.30 in the morning. Right. Meeting there at 8 o'clock and taking stock of the situation.